everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name's Rana, better known as Hot Mess Mama MD, the makeup diva, not medical doctor. Sorry to disappoint. Anyways, on today's video, it's another edition of Is It a Dupe or Just a Waste of Money? What we're going to be testing out, trying out, and um, creating just the face look right here is the brand new C Color Cosmetics Natural Face Palette. I do talk a little bit about the other palette that they have if you guys are curious what that is a dupe for. But if you are curious to know what this $12.50 palette is a dupe for, it looks like this. It is supposed to be a dupe for this expensive $44 Natural Too Faced palette, which if you guys want to see the inside of it, I'll do that for you. Try not to blind you guys. There you go. $44, $12.50. Uh, you guys are curious to see how I did get this facial look then make sure to stay tuned. If you are curious about the eye look, I do have a video coming very, very soon. If it's not already up on these two palettes, I'm being hashtag productive, guys. I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm really, really proud of myself for this. Finding affordable dupes, and that's what Is It A Dupe or Just Waste Money is all about. So if this is the kind of video for you, please make sure to stay tuned. But before we get started, I ask that you please make sure that if you do enjoy this series to give me a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more of these types of uploads. And don't forget to check my daughter Haley's channel out. Yes, I'm a mom. I'm, I'm going to help my children. Her channel is going to be listed in the description box below, as well as there are two other listings that you're going to see for the videos. Those are my giveaway videos. So at the end of this video, if you'd like a chance to and enter into that giveaway, make sure to check those links out. Is this a dupe for the high-end $44 palette? Let's find out. Okay guys, so getting right into the swatches for these palettes. On the bottom is all of the C Color Cosmetics Natural Face Palette swatches, and on top is all of your Too Faced Natural Palette, okay? So one thing that I wanna show you guys is they swatched beautifully, like absolutely gorgeous. And the shades that are supposed to be duochrome are definitely duochrome, like they do the shift, like no other. So uh, this has been like my favorite highlighter to use out of the Too Faced palette and I absolutely love that it matches. Um, if, if anything is off, it is not off by much y'all. It is not off by much. And I mean it's really hard to see these two shades, but I'm telling you, they match up really well. I want to show you guys right here, the C Color Cosmetics, that pink bubblegum blush was definitely more pigmented than the Too Faced one. Now, you guys know I am not a huge fan of swatches. It's all about the application process, but I still like to give you guys a general idea of how well the formula swatches. So let's go ahead and move into the application process. Okay guys, so we are going to get right into showing you guys the different palettes, etc. So um, also, I mean like hashtag productive, you're going to see me do an eye look in another video. So when I pop back with like the rest of my makeup on, if you're interested in that eye look, that video will be coming soon. I, I don't know what the eye look's going to look like, but fingers crossed. Okay. Anyways, this is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. It retails for $44. Sure, it's in this luxurious case and everything and looks oh so pretty, but this palette right here by C Color Cosmetics is only $12.50. And of course, as you guys know, they were kind enough to give me that 10% off coupon code for y'all to use on their website. There's no longer having to check out on Amazon, guys. You can check out directly on their website. At the bottom, just put Hot Mess 10 in the promo code or the code. And also, international shipping. Thank you, C Color Cosmetics. So if you are outside of the United States, guess what, guys? You get the opportunity to test out and try out their amazing makeup. So as I said, this does retail for $44. This is $12.50 plus that 12 or 10% off coupon code. First ingredient in here is mica. I'm going to open it up and show you all the inside of it. It is in its standard type of packaging, which is like a cardboard packaging. There is a mirror in there as well. It's a decent size mirror, y'all, too. This is what the inside looks like. Try not to blind you guys. So you get nice size pans as far as that goes. And then I'm going to put it right up against the Too Faced palette. 
So this is the palettes side by side. As you guys can see, they are set up just the same and everything. They have the same colors in there and and you guys saw the swatches. So of course we're going to do the application process. A little bit more about the C-Color Cosmetics palette. It does say 6 pans times 3.5 grams and a net of 0.122 ounces each. It is made in the PRC with an expiration of 12 months. Did I mention it's cruelty free? It is cruelty free y'all. Um, number one ingredient is mica. So uh, I can tell you guys this is not a first impression. I have been playing with this because they were kind enough to send it to me and I jumped into this right away. One thing that I do want to mention is y'all will go to their website and you will see that there is an option for do two different kinds. Let me put the casing on this one. Okay. So the one that we are reviewing today is the one in the pink type of box. There is another one y'all that looks like this and I just want to go ahead and show you guys because a lot of you guys were like is it for benefit? What is it for? Is it another option like a deeper version of the Too Faced one. Rhonda, what is it? Well, let me tell you guys. The Urban Decay had a Sin palette, I believe is what it was called. Let me pull it up to double check the correct wording on it. It was called the Urban Decay Afterglow Six Color Blush and Highlighter Palette. It does retail for like $34 or $39 on their website. I, I was able to find it on um, Nordstrom Rack for like $19.97. But here's the kicker, guys. Nordstrom Rack, unless it is over $100, you don't get free shipping. Yeah, so after shipping, my total came to, let's see here, because I know, I thought I came to $27 and change. This, $12.50. This is an identical dupe for that Urban Decay palette. So for those of y'all out there, that were curious as to, you know, this is the dupe for the Too Faced one. What is this one a dupe for? It's for the Urban Decay palette. So just wanted to throw that out there and help you guys out a little bit as far as that goes. Uh, C-Color Cosmetics, if you are within the United States, anything over $9.99 is free shipping. So for me personally, I don't even care what that Urban Decay palette is like. I don't want to pay $27 for it. I don't want to pay $39, but I definitely don't want to have to pay that expensive shipping price. And again, you can use that 10% off coupon code HOTMESS10. So, um, I will leave it the C Color Cosmetics website link down in my description box below for you guys. Now that I've tangented it on for way too long, but like I said, I didn't want to leave you guys out in the dark as far as what the second pilot was a dupe for, so that is why I put that out there. So if you are new to is it a dupe or just a waste of money, what I'm going to do is I am going to pull you guys right up close and personal with me and I am going to on one side of my face apply the Too Faced Natural Palette and on the other side the C Color Palette. I am going to use the blush, bronzer, and highlight in both palettes. I haven't even had coffee yet guys. This keto is giving me my energy back. I'm functioning. So if I'm talking fast, I'm sorry. I'm just feeling fabulous. Um, I will be using the exact same brushes, however, I do clean them off in between. Using this by JCAT, I think it was like five bucks at Ulta, and then I use a washcloth too. So that is how I'm going to be applying these. So again, let me zoom you up close and personal, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Can I just tell you before I get started, of course I'm going to leave all of my makeup that I have on uh, down, linked in the description box for you guys, but I found this. And now that my skin has like calmed down on the like oil building of craziness, I am absolutely loving this. And what is it? Ten bucks? Eight bucks? I don't know. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD uh, Long Wearing Illuminating Foundation. So if you're liking it, um, it's not crazy expensive, guys. Okay, girl. First video of the day, and you are really chatty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my brushes that I typically use when I'm doing blush and bronzer if, if I can find them. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and start with the C Color Cosmetics palette. Um, we are going to just go right in with this to bronze and contour. Now one thing that I love and I just want to show you guys, hopefully my camera will pick up, there is not a bunch of fallout or anything but you will pick up a fair amount on your brush. So. Moving right in, I'm going to kind of see where I naturally, like, I'm going to focus on that and build it up and then slowly move it to 
the inner part, like a so. Highlight up through here. This is not a highlight. This is this is a con contour bronzer. <laughs> Sorry guys. And down through here. A little bit on my nose. I, all in one. I know. Some people use like a bunch of fancy brushes. I am not that girl. Not that girl. So, as you can see, there we are. We are going to clean off the brush. We're going to jump to the other side. And we are going to use our Too Faced palette with the exact same shade. So again, we're going in with this shade right here to bronze and contour. Not much kick up on this one either, guys. A fair amount on the brush. Okay, here we go. Again, focusing it through here. I do feel like the C color side showed up faster. Okay, so as you guys can tell, the C Color Cosmetics side, it, I feel like, and I could be wrong when I get back to edit, I guess I'll see, but I feel like the C Color Cosmetics side definitely um, is more pigmented than this Too Faced side. I'm really having to come back, which, I mean, you know, to each their own. Definitely feel like I have to build up more. Okay, so here's the C Color Cosmetics side. Here is the Too Faced side. I can't see. Okay, so from there I'm going to go ahead and go in with my blush. And uh, my favorite shade is this one right here. This, this is the one that I always gravitate to. So I'm going to just go ahead and move in with that one. I am using the Morphe E4 brush. This is a really, really pigmented shade. Like, so I'm definitely going to tap my brush. I don't have like a crazy amount of fallout there or kick up. There's a little bit, but I am going to tap my brush and dab a little here because whoo, and then kind of tap it right through here. I do want to hit my nose, but I'm not. So we'll do a little up here, a little on the chin. Okay, a little over here. I know, guys. I'm in rare form. Rare form. I can't talk. Okay, cleaning off my brush. I, I swear I've not had my coffee. Okay, so we're going to go ahead over here. Dab in. I mean, quite a bit picks up, so definitely tap the brush. Do the same thing. I think it's pretty. Okay, definitely don't see a difference personally. I think that nobody would know that I have two different palettes on my face. I am going to go in, and one thing I love to do is mix both of these highlighters together. That's what I've done since I purchased this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, I am just going in with a Morphe R36 brush. And no, I'm not sponsored or anything with any of the products that I'm talking about today. So, gonna go ahead, refocus the camera. I'm just going to mix these two shades together. There's quite a bit of kick up with those powders, not the end of the world. Just gonna lightly put it, you know, right in this high point area. Not too much because I really don't want to accentuate the texture, which you can see the more I build up, you're gonna see the crow's feet and the texture. <laughs> But that's just how it is. I'm going to put a little bit here and a little bit here. And a little bit on this cubist bow on this side. Uh. Alright, cleaning off my highlighter brush, I'm going to jump over to the C Color Cosmetics side. And I'm going to do the exact same thing, guys. I'm just going to mix these two together. Not a ton of fallout or anything. And let's go ahead and start. Oh, that's pretty. So you can see I accidentally went a little too much in the pinky zone. So I've got to come back and hit the gold. This is the gold one. So I need to add a little bit more of that right through here so I sort of match. Okay, honestly, 
maybe it's me, but I feel like this is the C color cosmetic side is gorgeous and it's definitely more blinding. I don't know, maybe it's me. Ooh, that just got all over my lip gloss. Okay, so here is the finished product of using these two palettes. Again, ringside is the Too Faced. Non-ringside is the C Color Cosmetics. Like I said, I feel like this is definitely more blinding than this side. This side is really pulling the gold. Like I, I don't know what to say. It's just really pulling the gold. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. I think I'll just go in a little bit more. Should I? I don't know. And try and tap a little bit more of that gold on there. Okay, now we're getting a little like glowy glowy. If you are looking for a blinding highlight, this is definitely going to give it to you. Um, I, obviously, I built up a lot on it, but that's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm going to hop off, guys. I am going to do the rest of my face. I'm going to be back to give you guys my final thoughts. I'll do an end-of-the-day check-in, and um, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back with the rest of my eyeballs on. Of course, as always, uh, I know I probably said it before, I'll have everything linked and listed down below for y'all. But, let's talk about this palette right here, up against this one. You guys, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I am filming another video. Um, I actually filmed a video using these two palettes right here. So that is what is on my eyes. Uh, so it's been a couple hours in between, so I did repowder my face, but the highlight is still going strong even with powder over top of it. As you can see here, uh, it kind of like dimmed down, and we're just talking over a couple hours. So, um, but as far as everything else goes, and the powder I used, it wasn't a heavy powder. I just want to show you guys. It is this CoverGirl Outlast All Day Powder. So, I mean, it shouldn't have like calmed this highlight down as much as it did. But it did. However, this one is going very strong. So, giving you guys my final thoughts on this palette right here. You guys, I think it is an absolute beautiful palette. It's called the Natural Glow Face Palette. Okay, you guys, I think that if you were wanting this palette right here, and please, I am like a sucker for casing. I thought, oh my gosh, the, the case is literally what sold me. Not what was inside. It was literally the case. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so bougie. That's so luxe. It's freaking $44. It's ridiculous. Like, I literally just paid for bougie casing. Stick with this because even though the products in here are good and it smells all whatever and nice and delish, actually, it doesn't anymore, but it did. I'm tangenting. Anywho, you can get everything right here. And even though I do like the products in here, guys, I would much rather pay the $12.50 and, um, you know, get this look right here with a glowing highlighter. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. And I mean, don't forget, you can still use these on your eyes as well. I mean, there's a couple shades in here I didn't use, but you could easily put these on your eyes. But overall, I think this is absolutely worth the money. I don't think you're gonna be unhappy with it. You guys, I know you're probably getting sick of me saying it, but C-Color Cosmetics, in my eyes, cannot do any wrong. <laughs> they are doing an amazing job with these dupes. I love the fact that they're not just duping the ones that you see other companies duping. They're they're reaching for Urban Decay, guys. They're, they're going for Urban Decay, too. So very, very happy with that. Uh, like I said, feel free to use Hot Mess 10 to save yourself 10%. If I have not already mentioned, this video is not sponsored. However, Hot Mess 10 is an affiliate code. I always want to be honest with y'all. Uh, Hot Mess 10 will make me a small little commission. So if you do use Hot Mess 10 in the coupon code, section. Thank you very, very much. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you are not into affiliate codes, don't use it. Pay the full price. It's free shipping. And like I said, C Color Cosmetics does ship internationally now. So anyways, I will make sure to maybe like right in through here somewhere, pop in a wear test for you guys. But I think that even after a couple hours, you can already see the difference between the Too Faced side and the C color cosmetic size. Now I know what you're probably saying. This is supposed to be a natural palette and it does give you like a natural sheen. I, you know, overdid it on this side, but I'm telling you guys, I built this up. You could go natural too. So anyway. I just want to do the check-in for the face palettes to show you guys 
how well everything has worn and this side was the Too Faced side and this side was the C Color Cosmetics side. Um, I do want to say like the highlight is still there if you guys can tell but as you see I was laying down. <laughs> it is late I'm getting ready to shower so this side of my face was like pretty much smushed like this you can see like my eye makeup is messed up and a little bit of stuff is like rubbed off but overall everything wore really nicely and I'm really happy with it and I don't think that this is like a that great of a check-in only because I, I you know was laying on this whole side of my face like a ding-dong so uh, anyways overall at least you guys can tell the contour is there. I don't know. If the light hits my cheek just right, you can see that the highlight's still there. I don't know. Okay, guys. Um, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to check the description box for the giveaway videos. That being said, that's going to be all for today's video. You guys, I try to not dry my hair. I'm trying to keep, like, less heat on it. And... I don't know, I'm almost kind of digging this like natural beachy wave. Like, who is this girl? I don't know. She's tangenting again. <laughs> Focus! Okay guys, so that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy it and you enjoy these Is It A Duper Just To Waste Money videos, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you picked up either one of these palettes. And before I end today's video, I do want to make sure to give a post notification shout out. If you'd like a chance at a post notification shout out, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Click that post notification bell two times to make sure you're getting all the notifications of my uploads, which all beauty related content is Monday through Friday, uh, two to three times a week. Sometimes I surprise and I do a bit more. And then on the weekends is all of my keto related content. So don't want to miss out. I also have two giveaways going on right now. It is the 10K giveaway and then there is another video where I'm giving away two C Color Cosmetics palettes. So check my description box down below for those videos so you can enter into win or a chance to win those, um, those things. You were on a roll, girl, and then you lost it. You lost it. Hot mess. Sorry, whoever I am, like, annoying with my ring light in here, but I love my wedding picture, and I don't want to take it down. So, anyways, today's post notification shout-outs do go to Maria T. Maritza Santiago. I think I said it right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And Brandy Fisher. And let's do one more. My private account. I think I've called you out before. We'll do Misty Meza. Meza. I was on a roll. I lost it. Anyways, thank you guys for having your notifications turned on. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for being subscribed to my channel as well and supporting our community here. Thank you guys so, so much for all the kind words, all the support. And until next time, my friends. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have that scrolling somewhere. And I'll have some other videos playing if you like to continue watching this hot mess in action. Okay, until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky.